God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That'll be a no. Okay. There it is. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm so sorry. Y'all, please forgive me. Amen. Um, ooh. Trying to, trying to tag a couple, two, three people. I'm just really on here just for a few minutes. Um, wanted to pop on, pop in, just to say a couple, two, three things. Amen. Praise the Lord, whomever is here with me. Amen. Just I'm just giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. Amen. And who is the strength of my life. I am so excited about the things that God is doing in my life and just in the lives of his people. Amen. And I just want to pop in just for a couple minutes. Let's just share a couple, two, three things and pop right back off. Amen. Um, so I'm grateful unto God. Amen. And if I didn't tag you, uh, okay. Amen. I, I, I'm sorry. Amen. So I'm doing a quick pop up. Amen. Tonight. Hallelujah. On a Saturday, I just came on for a couple of minutes just to talk just a couple of minutes. And I want to check a couple, two, three things, um, get myself kind of situated so that when I am, uh, excuse me, able to do a pop up, I'll be ready. Amen. And so, um, I thank you for joining me tonight. Amen. For a few minutes. Um, I had to get my computer situated and lighting and all. I mean, just, <laughs> it was like, wait a minute. I got a whole lot I got to do just to do a quick pop up. Lord, thank you. But I just honor God. I honor the fact that God called me. Amen. And I honor all those that have been with me. Um, those that have labored with me, those that have, uh, heard my, my cries and heard my complaints and, you know, heard different things, amen, and I'm thankful for the word of God, for people that have spoken things into my life, and just me being able to honor and obey God when he said to do, amen, and so I am thankful, so I'm doing a quick pop-up, amen, and I said, oh God, what am I going to talk about, you know, I'm like, oh, this is the first, you know, the first pop-up under the ministry, amen, and I was like, oh God, so what am I going to talk about, so giving unto to God who's the head of my life, amen, uh, I pray that all has been well with you. And I see my sister saying she won't be on long. I love you too, Pat. Um, I'm just giving honor to the Lord. Amen. Because all the things that he's done. Amen. Just him being faithful. Amen. And, and I love the word because the Bible says, if you be faithful of a few things, God said he'll make you ruler over many. And I am thankful. I am grateful. I am humble that God <laughs> called me. Amen. I'm humble that he called you. Amen. And I'm just, I'm just grateful. Amen. So I'm going to say a quick word of prayer, get right into it. And we're going to talk for a minute and then we're going to jump right on off. Amen. So Father, Father God, we thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name for who you are, God. We bless you because only you get the glory out of our lives, God. We thank you right now, Father, for giving us the opportunity, oh God, to be able to come on, to be able to have a quick pop-up, and just to encourage the people, God, and encourage myself, amen, and, and just know, God, as you said in your word, that we'll be first partaker, and God, I know that this word hit me, and every word that comes out of my mouth hits me first, God, but I thank you. I thank you for choosing me as a vessel to be used mightily for you, God. I thank you, God, that when you called me, that I heard the call, and I answered the call, God, for my life in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, I thank you that I say something that will encourage and impel others to step out, step out on faith in the name of Jesus, that God will take care of you. Just you take care of his business. He'll take care of you in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I thank you, Lord, for just providing us with what we need every day and every single way in Jesus' name. We bless you, God, and we praise you. Amen, amen, and amen. So like I said, Hey, thank you. Oh, my sister. Amen. I love y'all. <laughs> y'all just don't know. Amen. But I, I just want to come on just for a few minutes just to talk. Um, and, and just to be transparent for a moment. Amen. And um, I, 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 the scripture that I have is talking about the fruit of the spirit. Amen. The fruit of the spirit. Amen. And so, um, but in my transparency moment, um, a couple years ago, I got a word, amen, from a very well-known prophet between amongst the ones of us that know each other in real life, amen. And in that word, he said to me, he said, you are 10 years behind. And I thought, huh, okay, 10 years, what's that, you know, big 10, big 10 years, you know, and I was like, 
You know, God, wait a minute. What did I do? What did I do? What did I miss, God? And so he showed me, God took me back on this journey. And he showed me when I first uh, started preaching the gospel and the run that he had me on then, I got off the path. Now, let me say this. Let me, let me say this. The reason why I got off the path. I have no excuses. I, I'm, I'm laying down every excuse that I had then. I'm laying down every excuse that I have now. Uh, but I got distracted. That's the first thing. I got distracted. I got caught up in helping everybody else. I was the background girl. I was the background for every, you know, the one that held the, what the little thing, <laughs> the little thing is when, when they be filming and you do, oh, the number girl. That's what I was. I was the numbers girl. Amen. Even though I was still doing ministry, but I wasn't doing it to the fullness of what God was saying to do it. Amen. And so I, I came on tonight just to talk for a minute to encourage you. If God is telling you to do it and the things that you don't know to do, don't worry about those things. Amen. Because God said that if, if you go, I will teach you the way. But I need you first to get up. I need you first to write the vision. I need you first to, to understand that when I called you, I had already equipped you with what you needed. Amen. And so, amen. And so that is my, my prayer. That is my option to say that whatever God has called you to. See, the thing I think what we get in our head is, well, so-and-so is doing that. And so-and-so is doing this. And God said, but the first thing is true. They doing that, but they're not you. <laughs> they're not you. That's the, that's the one thing that God told me. He said, I made you to be who you are. And I want the original, authentic Shauna. That's what I want. I want the, my sister called me Twinta. Amen. She, I don't think she's on here. But God said, I want you. You, who you are. The one, that light-skinned girl. The one that wears a hat with this red in it. Amen. The one that wears a hat with a purple in it. That girl, the one that talks country when she wants to and act country when she wants to. The one, the one that, 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 that may not have all the flowery words. Amen. I want her because I know what I placed on her. See, I came to cash in on the anointing I put in you. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. I came to cash in on the anointing that I put in you. See, I, I, I'm using it in that terminology because sometimes we have to break it down to where we understand. I came for what I placed in you. See, and so sometimes we'll set on our gift. Oh, God. Oh, my, my, Jesus. We'll set on our gift. Because we're so unsure. Well, God, I know you called me, but now because you called me, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> he said, get up. Just get up. If you just get up and start walking in a direction in which I'm telling you to go, then guess what? When you get to that place that I told you to go first, the one place, oh, God, the one place I told you to go, I give you instructions when you get there. <laughs> I won't leave you out there. <laughs> I won't leave you left out there. <laughs> oh, I love this word. I never leave and never forsake you. He said, if you go to the first destination, then I can take that thing. And when you get there, I got to get my charger, y'all. Amen. When you get to that first destination, then I can add to the instruction. But see, first I got to trust you to get to the first destination. And that's where a lot of us fail at. I don't understand, even for myself. I said, God, you know, I'm here. And I'm this age. And God, I don't have this type of money. And God, I don't have, I, I mean, I'm telling y'all, when I say I had a laundry list of excuses as to why I could not do and why I did that and the other. But let me tell you something that happened to me. When I started the journey that God put me on a few months back, because it's been a few months, that I've been working on this because I want to be sure, God, this is what you want out of me. And so when I started the journey, I would tidbit, I'd do a pop up here and there, and I would throw, you know, a, cu a couple words of encouragement out here and there. And God kept telling me, but you're not doing it to the fullness of what I told you. And I, but, but God, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing, let me say it, being human, I'm doing something. <laughs> I, I'm doing something. I, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, he said, but do it to the completion and fullness and watch what happened. So let me tell you what happened. I started on my journey to doing the things that God wanted me to do. And as I was going on my journey, God began to bring people 
I don't, I, hey, people, just people that I knew that said to me, hey, did you think about doing this? Hey, did you think about doing that? Well, yeah, that sounds good, but I don't know how to do that. And you know what that person said to me? I do. Oh, God. I said, what you say? I do. And I said, well, um, 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 okay. Just bring me your ideas. Huh? The brother Bible said, he said, write the vision and make it plain. Just, just bring me what you got. <laughs> and what? Me do my part. I said, okay. Hey, this is what I got. Let me say this. One thing I found out. Men should take sacrifice. <laughs> hey God. Men should take when you don't want to. When you just want to, I just want to go sleep. God, can I just sleep tonight? No, because you went to your job. You worked your nine to five. You made dinner for your children. You cooked. I mean, well, you, you cooked. You cleaned up. You made sure little Johnny and them was in bed. You made sure they studied their homework or whatever it is that they had to do. Amen. Now it's my time. <laughs> oh God. I said, huh? He said, now I can have your undivided attention now. Because, see, now everything is quiet <laughs> and everything is relaxed. And, and you think, okay, I'm going to go, boy, I'm going to get in this bed. I'm going to go to sleep. I, I'm going to need to, uh, excuse, excuse me, hello, I, I need to talk to you. And I'm like, but God, he said, when you were busy throughout the day going here, going there, doing all these things, I couldn't talk to you then because you weren't willing to listen to me. So late in the midnight hour, ain't that what they say? God going to turn around? It's going to work in your favor? Well, late in the midnight hour, <laughs> woo, God said it's going to work in his favor. Because he said, tap, tap, get up, wake up, uh, wake, wake, wake up. I got something I want to talk to you about. Mm -mm. Some of us, we so hard-headed, we turn over, woo, and we close our eyes, and we go back to sleep. And... That is delaying the process, is what God told me. You delayed the process. And so my delay came for 10 whole years. <laughs> oh, God. My God. When the man of God told me that, I thought I was, I would dead be. <laughs> Amen. And everybody know what size I am. Praise the Lord. But I said to myself, and I heard God speak to me and say, you got some running to do, baby. I said, Lord, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. If I'm 10 years behind, what am I supposed to do to catch up those 10 years? But let me tell you how faithful God is. Let me, let me tell you what he did. Another man of God came as I began this process to me. And he said to me, God said he's going to redeem the time. I said, what, what, what you say, sir? <laughs> hey, hey. And this, I didn't know this man. I'm, 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 I'm telling y'all something that this is what ha I'm being transparent at this moment. He said, God said he was going to redeem the time. The time that you lost, he's wiped it clean. I said, uh huh? He said, God's going to take you and do a speedily catch up in the name of Jesus. And I was like, what, what do you mean? He said, Start studying the word of God, reading the word and praying. And when he nudged you to get up, get up. He's going to fast track you. I see God. Thank you, Jesus. He's going to fast track you. And I said, what, what, what? He said, this is God. He's going to fast track you. You, you, it ain't going to be just like you ain't missed nothing. Oh, uh. <laughs> when I tell you, <laughs> late in the midnight hour, <laughs> look here, I'm, I'm single. Praise the Lord. I'm single. Amen. I got one of these pads right here. And my faithful pen and put it up under my other pillar on the other side of the bed. Because, see, I, I, I can't miss this time. <laughs> oh, God, I, I can't miss uh, this opportunity, God. I, 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 I want you to talk to me whenever you want to talk to me. So I don't want to miss the opportunity. And let me, let me tell you, whatever. Oh, oh, my phone. I'm using my phone. I'm sorry. But this right here, this phone was on the other side of the bed with the pen and the pad. I would lay up recording myself <laughs> singing songs of Zion because God can talk to us through not just the words we use, but through song. And I would lay there and record myself, voice sounding like I sound like Barry White in the middle of the night, y'all. But I'm saying this to say 
Don't miss the opportunity. I don't care what it look like. I don't care how many years you done passed you by in the name of Jesus. God said, my spirit knows all things. He said, when I spoke the word over you, he said, I don't change what I said you were going to be and what you were going to do in this earth. This one right here. Amen. And so even when I look at the people that I see on here in the name of Jesus, some of us have been delayed a long time, but God said, I will do that thing in a matter of a second. And you'll be like, what in the world? How did I get to this place? And that's what he wants to do. He wants to say, look, I want to catch you up to the place that you thought you missed. <laughs> you ain't missed me. They're calling me while I'm doing a live. I tried to clear it and it clicked on. The word that God spoke over your life. It's going to come to pass. Now it's time for you to get up and do it. Now it's time for you to get up and do it. Now. That, that the Bible say in Hebrew 11. Now faith coming. Now is the time for you to get up. Now is the time for you to put that thing out. Pull them peeps of paper. I don't care if you got them go. Blow the dust off the paper. Amen. Now is the time for you to do it. Why? Because of the season. He said the, the labor's. <laughs> A few, but the harvest is plentiful. Amen. There's room for you to stand beside me, behind me, in front of me, over yonder way, over there. It doesn't matter. See, God, this is what the Lord told me. He said, the enemy, the one we talk about, he don't care about you starting anything. <laughs> you can start whatever you want to start. Do you know what the enemy cares about? He cares about the finished product. Because he knows that if you finish the work that God put in you, I see cut him out. If you finish the work that God placed on the inside of you, you're going to tear his kingdom up. He knows this. You understand me? He knows these things. But you know what? He is not omnipresent like God. He knows of things about you. But he puts distractions and things that, oh, they said this and they did. God, let me tell you something. Everything that the enemy has tried to put on me, I'm shaking it off. Amen. I, I, I don't have time. We don't have time. This is precious time. And let me tell you something. Every moment that we miss, oh God, doing, not doing what God wants to do. There's somebody's life out there hanging in the balance that need to hear a word from you, need to hear a prayer from you, need to hear an encouragement from you. Somebody out there need to have your hands laid on them to be healed. Somebody need to hear the words out of your mouth to be healed. You hear me? We, we are missing opportunity and time. Precious time. Life is going on. And we have to get up and do something about it. We got to get up. We got to get up. We got to do something about this thing. This is too much. God said, I place too much in you in the name of Jesus. I place too up. God has made an investment into you to do what he called you to do. And <laughs> can't nobody stop it but you. I'll just be a real. This is my moment of transparency. Can't nobody stop what God put in you but you. I don't care they said it. I don't care they did it. I don't care if they looked at you crooked. <laughs> I don't care if they threw 99 stumbling blocks in your way. In the name of Jesus, God said, you will finish this race. Amen. What does the Bible say? The race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, but he that endures to the end. We're going to need some endurance. Amen. And I pray your strength. Whoever's listening to me, whoever will hear the replay of this, I pray your strength in the Lord. I pray that God will begin to give you men and women of God that will, what the, what the other prophet said, that will push you in the Holy Ghost as you excel. Come on. We got to go. We got places we got to go. We got people that's waiting on us. And let me tell you something. Let me, let me do you the kick on that. They ain't coming into the church. They not coming to the church house. They, they not coming. You got to go out here and you got to evangelize as the evangelist. You going to have to go out here and be ready to evangelize these people. They're not coming into the church in the name of Jesus. They're not. I'm sorry. I wish they would, praise the Lord, because I'm quick to say, oh, child, there's a church over there on the corner. Go on over there. Amen? But they're not. They're not.
Because you want to know why? They're looking. And you know what they're looking at? You, the church. You, the church. Oh, yeah, you. And you too, the church. The church. We are the church. The church lives on the inside of us in the name of Jesus. And so the kingdom, what does the, what does the Bible say? The kingdom of God suffered violence. <laughs> and the violence say, take it by force. You need to take it by force. We're going to have to get up and take some force. We're going to have to get up and do some fight. We're going to have to get up and do some things. Some things that we don't want to do. We're going to talk to some people we, ain't got to, we don't want to talk to. That's why I did that little excerpt about me. I talk to anybody. Baby, my son be like, Mama, do you know? I don't know them. I don't know them. But let me tell you the funny part about me talking to everybody. I'd be in the grocery store, minding my own business. I'm just going to get me some peaches and some grapes or, or whatever, meat, cookies, whatever it is. <laughs> and you might see one person, and you're like, okay, praise the Lord, amen, hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Wait a few minutes, get on another aisle, here they go, that same person. Hey, you, oh, I just seen you then, the amen. Get on another aisle, here go that, is, baby, is you following me? <laughs> let, let just be real, come on. Is you, is you following me? And you realize that, oh, you on assignment in the grocery store trying to get you some groceries. Amen? And so what do you do? You turn and you begin to have a conversation with that person. Or you pray for that person. Or you would just simply give the person a word of encouragement. Amen? So we always, he said, be ye ever ready and also prepared. Because you don't know. You don't know when God say, I have need of you. I want to use you in this. I want to use you in that place. I want to use you. Amen? Minding your own been eating your hot wings or whatever it is that God, you went out to go get you some hot wings and God will drop someone right there. That's in need of healing. That's in need of a word of encouragement. That's in need of a blessing from you. Amen. So you don't know when that's going to happen. And so if you're already ready and prepared to be able to speak a word of encouragement to somebody, then guess what you do? You'll speak that word of encouragement. Your time for God is never in vain. You hear me? When you go out and you're talking to people about God, it is never in vain. Never in God. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when you go out telling somebody about God, whoever they are, and you took up time with them, <laughs> it's never in vain. I went to the Dollar Tree one day. Minding my, I can't even remember what I went in there for. But this man, I was coming out of the store. Hey Amen. I was coming out the door. Man walked up to me. Now, it was hot to me. It was hot. He had on a coat. And he walked up to me and he said to me, he said, dog, I don't even know what happened to my pad. And I said, what are you talking about, sir? Just like that. He said, I lost my pad. I had a pad that I was writing on. So I said, oh, okay, I understand. I said, here, let me go ahead and get you another. He said, no, that's okay. And I said, okay, no problem. This man stood there and told me about his whole Lord Jesus life, Lord. And I thought to myself, I, I got to go home. <laughs> I want to I go home. But you know what happened? It wasn't about me no more. It became about him. And it definitely became about God. You understand me? Because that man needed someone that would stand there. Oh, my God. And listen to him. For however long I was standing there, I stood there. Now, the devil tried to creep in and say, well, this man could rob you. This man could. And God you know what the Lord did? He said, I got you. <laughs> hey, who God, I, I got you. You belong to me. See, he saw what was on the inside of you. And he needed to have that thing connect with him. So he'll know it's going to be all right. No matter where you are, God's going to be with you through this whole thing, honey. He was homeless. I'm assuming the man was homeless. I don't even know. I'm just going to say that the way he looked and appeared to me. Amen. But do you know when I walked away from him, my heart, hey, my heart was, oh God, my heart was so happy. My heart was so happy because I took the time, amen. I took the time to give a stranger something that he probably wouldn't get from nobody else. Oh, now let me tell y'all something. People were coming and going and we were standing there coming and going. Nobody else paid attention to that man. But hey, lo and behold, God sent me coming out the door. And guess who he walked into? Oh, that would be me. <laughs> he started out talking about the pad. 
But then he started talking about his life. And I encouraged him that God can do anything. Whatever you lost, whatever you're looking for, whatever you're seeking, God still can. And when, he, when we finished our time of talking, you know, he told me, God bless you, sister. I appreciate you. And he went on, walked on back where he came from. I said, well, praise the Lord. Amen. Hey, amen. When I finally got home, I said, oh, God, I know I was out there long. Oh, Jesus. But God said, I got you. <sighs> Y'all, let me say this. This journey ain't been easy. It hasn't been easy. And when I say every time I think about God and I think about the things that he has brought me through, I get tears in my eyes because I try, you know, I be trying not to cry. Praise the Lord. But let me tell y'all something. It's been worth it for me. It's been worth it for me to see other people be set free, delivered, and happy. You understand? Because sometimes all it takes is for you to be present. Amen. Present. What is that? Present. Hallelujah. And so that God can begin to use you because you what? Lord, I showed up. <laughs> I showed up, God. I, I, I showed up. Amen. So he used me for his glory. Amen. Now, you know, hey, I gave up a little bit of my time, but I was prepared for whatever God said would happen for me that day. Amen. And so he makes me get up in the morning and say, before I put my foot on the floor, God, whatever it is, the journey that I need to go on today, Lord, I ask you to gird me up so I'll be ready and prepared for whatever the journey is that you're going to send me on. Amen. Because I don't know who is going to come across my path. I don't know when they're going to be able to say, hey, you know what? Huh, can you pray? Pray for me. Uh, uh, uh. I might be riding in the traffic and God say, look over to your left and look at, look, look at the, look at her. Now pray for her. Okay. Now look over to your right. Now pray for him. Amen. It's not, it's not a task to where, you know, it's like, okay, wait, you know, it's a wait, but God makes it peaceable. He makes the journey that we're on worth it. So all I can say is there's more things considering Shauna Hudson's ministry. Amen. There are more things that God said that he's preparing me for. Amen. And so you'll begin to see different things coming out on Facebook, Instagram. Uh-huh. What else is there? Oh, I, I do StreamYard. Amen. And I will release the ministry's phone number. I, we do have a phone number. We opened up uh, for prayer. Amen. And um, it's it's me doing the praying. Amen. And so uh, we, I don't have a team of people. It's, it's me. Amen. I thank God because this is what God compelled me to do as far as ministry is concerned. Amen. God has not told me to put out no cash out or any of that. Amen. I just want him to use me. Amen. Because it costs me nothing, but it costs Jesus his life. Amen. God gave his only begotten son that I could have life and have it more abundantly. And so I believe God when he said, if you do my bidding, I will take care of you. Amen. Well, praise the Lord, prophet. Look at that prophet right there. Look at that prophet right there, girl. You better get it, girl. That's my sister right there. Woohoo, girl. I remember the day, you know what, I, I'm getting off course. But I remember the day that you prophesied to me that day on that thing, on that women. Mm-hmm. And you told me, you said, keep, keep, keep your keep your joy, keep your, keep, 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 keep it, you know, no matter what's going on around you, keep that, keep that fire on the inside of you, and I remember that like it was yesterday, and that warmed my heart, because let me tell you something, let me, let me, let me share something, ain't nobody got a prophecy out of you, ain't nobody got to encourage you, sometimes you be like here, wait a minute, Lord, wait a minute, I didn't encourage nine, nine people, can I just get one to pass by me and say, hey girl, ain't gonna be all right, girl, just keep running, girl, Amen. So I, I'm going to say this to every woman on here. And I think every woman on here I, I've actually had some interaction with. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because you want to know why? Because had you not said it, had you not done it, had you not prayed it, amen, I don't know where I'd be at. Amen. So every person on here in some shape or form has encouraged me. Every last 
uh, 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 <laughs> every last one of y'all has encouraged me, has encouraged my heart to know that I can keep going. Just just keep going. Keep going. No matter uh, whoever's on here, all 10 of y'all or whoever's on here, amen, if you just listen in the background, has encouraged my heart to continue the race that God has put me on. Why? Because he, you, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to take time out. And I am grateful. Oh, God, I am so great. If I could give you the word, I would. I am so grateful that God allowed you to come into my life. Amen. I don't count that to be small because you could have been talking to somebody else. You could have been spending time over there with somebody else. I am so grateful unto God because, see, I know I'm, I'm, I'm a pickle. <laughs> Amen. I can be a pickle sometime. Amen. But I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Uh, Prophet Latuana, honey. Oh, God, I remember one night <laughs> I was working a part-time job and you was on there praying. I think you was on something. I think you was on uh, Vanders Waller thing. But, honey... I was sitting there and I was like, God, I'm tired. I don't feel like doing that. And, I, and, you, and the Lord told me, get on the prayer line. And I got on there. And you was praying. <laughs> Woo! Honey, talking about a light bulb. I said, oh, I felt a shift. I said, wait a minute, God. Hey! <laughs> I said, okay. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So I knew. I said, God, her prayers are changing. They, they changed. And I'm not saying that to say, you were not praying before. But you connected something in me. Amen. And so I, 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 I'm grateful. I'm thankful. And I give you your flowers now. Amen. And you know what? As sisters, I know sometimes we can rub each other the wrong way. And we can say things. Amen. But let me tell you something. And this young lady right here that just popped up. My sister Susan. Amen. God. Hey, hey. Oh, God. My, my, my. Mm, mm, mm. I remember the last time we saw each other in the restaurant. Amen. And we talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. And you encouraged me. Amen. So I remember. Abonita, I remember. I know when you send them little messages or whatever. Hey, sis. You know, I'm just checking on you. How you doing? And I, I'm telling you, Zandra, amen. Remember me from when I was, <laughs> oh, God, a wee little person, amen. And then my real sister, Patricia, that I don't know if she's still on here or not, but amen. I'm just going by the names that I see, amen, that encouraged me, amen, that carried, she carried an anointing, amen, for me all them years until last year amen and god gave that thing over to me amen so i'm grateful do you understand when i say when i say i'm grateful i just I, if if i had a million i wouldn't have it because i'd be giving it out to everybody amen everybody get new cars <laughs> amen you, you see what i'm saying that's just my heart my heart this is who i am amen this is who god made me to be evangelist waller i know me and you be like who I know you be like, girl, that girl, that girl, that girl. But let me tell you something. I love you. <laughs> You're my sister. Irregardless. Whatever I do, whatever I say, however it is, amen, we have our share ups and downs. Why? You pull on me. Amen. And you pull on me not because you're trying to get something out of me for yourself, but for me to get something out of me for myself. Amen. And so that is, that is the value that I have, the value of having women and men. Amen. Cause I don't want to forget the men that God sent to me. Amen. My brothers in the Lord, uh, Evangelist Ward, um, uh, prophet Marcus. Amen. Uh, Elder Sears, amen. I don't want to forget them, amen. Uh, Apostle Sears, amen. Because I'm telling you, we have to understand that God builds our life, amen. And he puts people in your pathway to help you along, amen, along this journey. And sometimes, let me tell you something. They're going to say some stuff. You'll be like, look, I ain't talking to them no more. Uh, uh, bye. <laughs> Later. Later. Let, I, ain't, I don't talk to you. Mm -mm. I, I'm going to check out. You know, and, and then you realize, you know what, well, God forgive me. And then you end up right back in that person's space and in that person's life. Amen. And so it happens. Amen. Because sometimes even, even myself, I found myself that God had to put me in a cave before I got my confirmation of being a prophet. I was put in a cave by the Lord and I need to be in that cave because I need to hear. And I had an Elijah moment. I had, I had that experience. Amen. With God. And it needed to be that way because I needed to hear God. I need to sound off, shut off everything. Amen. So I was able to hear God. So back to my story. I'm all I'm saying to everyone, please, 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 please pick it up right now. If you haven't picked it up, 
pick it up right now. Pick it up right now. And you know what? Let me say this. Don't run the race like me. Don't run the race like somebody else. Run your race. See, the thing of it is that what we do is we'll get to run the race and we'll look over and see somebody running maybe a speed faster than you. Don't try to catch up. Don't do that. Don't, don't eat. Let, me, let, me, let me bless you. Don't even do that to yourself. <laughs> or you'll see somebody behind you and you'll be trying to reach back and put. Don't do that either to yourself. Because, see, you know why? Because the place that they're in, God got somebody there. Amen. Unless he tell you to turn around and help them. But don't stop your journey. Amen. Don't stop your journey when you know you already stifled your journey to stop to help some. To stop is what I'm saying. We're not complete. No, 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 no. We're not stopping. We're going on. Amen. And so when we see somebody that's falling behind, you know what you do? Lord, help them, God. Send somebody that's going to help them. But God, when you strengthen me enough, God, let me reach back and pull my sister this way. He said, I am my brother's and my sister keeper. Amen. And so sometimes we don't know why that person dragging their feet. God might have told them to stay right there for a minute. Amen. And so we can't be so concerned. Amen. That we're not concerned about where we are. Well, 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 wait a minute. God said, wait, wait, wait. While you trying to sweep around her front door, well, what, what's going on at yours? Amen. And so I said, well, wait a minute, Lord. He said, no, 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 no. I need you to go clean up your own pathway. And then when you do that, then you can pull someone forward. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. We have got to, I'm going to say, have a selfish moment without being selfish. Remember that God has placed something on the inside of you that he has need of in this season. And so because he has need of that, we have to know what season we're in. And so if God is telling you this time I need you to focus on this, then you need to take that time and focus on just that. Don't focus on what's going on behind you. Don't focus on what's going on in front of you. Because let me tell you something. Whatever's going on in front of you, when you get to that place, God is going to show you something totally different anyway. So you know what? Whoever passed you, baby, come on, baby. All right, now. Get it, girl. And then you clap and you keep it moving. Because let me tell you something. This is what we do. We clap. And we just keep clapping. And we just keep clapping. And we just keep clapping. And God say, but you standing still clapping. Baby, I need you to clap and move them feet. I need you to clap. And move them feet because you're not you're not going in the place that I want you to go in. And let me tell you, the the, the bad part about that is, ain't nobody responsible for your walk, <laughs> but you. <laughs> Look, I'm pointing back at myself. Ain't nobody responsible for your walk, but you. Hello, ain't ain't nobody responsible for your walk, but you. God Almighty is going to direct your pathway. He's giving you Jesus. He's giving you the Holy Ghost to speak to you and calm you and love on you and all that good stuff. But guess what? You got to get up and move your feet. Ain't nobody going to come on your house, get you dressed, put your shoes and socks on, brush your teeth, wash your face, and then help you walk out the, out the bedroom. And it help you get in the car. Whew. You can't walk. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we, we have to be that way. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. And it also says there's a time and season for everything. When it's your season to plant, you plant. But it's when your season to harvest, I'm going to need you to get out there and harvest. Because let me tell you something. You plant that seed, and that seed grow into what it need to grow into. And them oranges begin to sprout and fall to the ground. Let me tell you what's going to happen to them oranges when they hit that ground. They're going to rot. Oh, Jesus, my God. Mm -mm -mm. When them oranges, <laughs> you plant that orange tree, you put them seeds in the ground, and you prune them oranges. And you pour some water on there, and God begin to fertilize, and it take root and form in that ground, and it sprouts up and grow to this big, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green tree. And then all of a sudden, you see these little orange little buds on the tree, amen. Well, green buds or whatever they call them. And then it sprouts and it turns into this pretty orange hibachi. And you got this orange that you can just grab it and just pull on it, and it just pops off the tree. But let me tell you something what happens with that orange while it's hanging on that tree. The juice in it makes it heavy on the bottom. 
it makes it heavy on the bottom. And eventually that orange falls off the tree. Because you didn't, you didn't go out there and harvest that orange in the season that you needed to harvest it. And so now it's on the ground. Now it's only good for the deers, the ants, I mean, whatever else, little creatures, spiders, and all them other little creep, creep, creepy creatures on the ground. And then that mean that tree, that harvest that you planted for yourself, that seed that you put in the ground, you didn't go out there and catch that harvest when it was time to be harvested and ate. So you plant that tree so you could eat the sweet orange that you have. Amen. And you plant that tree so you could be able to share them oranges off that tree. See, what we do is we barter. So now I got all the oranges and you got all the grapes. So you got all the apples. Amen. So let's do a trade. Here you go. Amen. Let me give you some of my oranges. You're going to give me some of your, your apples or some of your grapes. Amen. And so that the harvest, when it comes, it won't hit, hit the ground and rot. Amen. So you won't lose that harvest that year. Amen. And so that's the thing. We got to be mindful. God said, I called you, I ordained you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Not just that you would be a prophet, that you would just be a son or a daughter of God. And so when he called us, amen, he said, now I'm equipping you. I'm equipping you. I'm equi I equipped. I equi now, when you're first born, God put everything in you that you needed already. But the fact of it is, time had to have its perfect work in you. And so as years went by and years went by and God began to process and teach you the things in which you needed to learn in life, amen, now I'm 53 years old. Now I'm ready. Get your tail up and let's go. <laughs> I mean, I can't put it all away. Now that you 53, get up and go. It's time to go. <laughs> and then if when you need some help, amen, God will send a prophet along. There go another one of my sisters, Prophet Marie, amen. Thank you, Jesus, for her, amen. She spoke some words into my life, amen. Some needed words, some needed needed confirmation, needed prophetic words, amen. She said a couple things I might not have liked to, but guess what I did? I took it, swallowed it, and kept it on moving. Be like, yeah, praise the Lord, amen. Let's go, come on, let's go. You Ain't no time for that, sis. Ain't no time, oh God. Ain't no time for that, sis, amen. We got to go. We got to be about our father's business. And so I came on as a transparent moment, as always, I'm like, like God, you just you just make me want to tell all my little bit. But anyway, as a transparent moment to say, look at if he did it for me. Oh yes, he sure will do it for you. It, he said, I have no respect to persons. I am the Lord thy God. I don't change what I say. I don't change if I said that you would be the prophet. If I said you would be the evangelist. If I said you would preach to the nation. If I said, if I said whatever it is that I said. It shall be fulfilled before you leave this earth in the name of Jesus. I said it and I meant what I said and I don't take anything back and I won't take nothing back. Not now word in the name of Jesus because I said what I meant and I'm not going to take it back. Ain't that what our daddy say to us? Girl, did you hear me? I said what I said and I get and do what I tell you. And that's what God is saying. I said what I said. Now get up and do <laughs> what I said. And I don't care if you got to go in it kicking and screaming. I meant every last word of what I said to you concerning you. Amen. Hello? Uh, concerning you. All this delay that we do for ourselves, like I said before, ain't nobody stopping you. I'm pointing to myself, but you. Amen. Ain't nobody stopping you but you. God is not holding back anything. He said, I never will hold anything up. Uh, uh, blah, blah. I would not withhold any good thing from them that walk up right before me. He's not withhold. What you wait? What you waiting on the bus? <laughs> if you live in the ATL, baby, you better call your Uber because we need you to get there. Because the bus, we don't know when it's going to come. But we have to do what God said to do. There are many women in the Bible right now that you read about in the word of God that had to get up and do what God said for them to do. Amen. And I love it because I, I go from David to Daniel to Paul. Paul was one of the ones that persecuted the Christians. He killed the Christians. He, it, but when he became blind, ooh, God, he became blind. And the man of God, the prophet, had to come and tell him, eh, 
He was like, wait a minute. This man killing folk. <laughs> he ain't going over there. Do you hear me? But he came and did his part. Amen. And he was in the lot. He was in the book. Oh my God. You know what? Even the ones that were disobedient. You, 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 you see that? The ones that were disobedient in the Bible, still in the Bible. Do you, can you, can you, can you, Jesus. The ones that were disobedient, the ones that were slow for, the ones that didn't want to go, the ones that didn't want to say, the ones, they still got into the book. You understand? They still in the book. Because the purpose of them not doing it was God to show you the example. Jonah. Jonah was all over the place. I ain't going to Nineveh. I ain't going. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to get on this boat. Jonah cost, whew, almost cost them people their life. But God still, what? Redeemed it. Come on here, Jonah. Still. And he put him in a place of destitute, in a, in a, in a big fish, in a whale belly. Ew, God, you couldn't use it. Lord, you just couldn't let me be stranded on the island by myself? Did you have to put <laughs> Oh, God. Ugh. Anyway, so all I'm saying is you delaying the process <laughs> does not mean that God's not going to get the glory. Amen? <laughs> you delaying the process don't mean God ain't going to get the glory. He going to get that, and he going to get that too. And you going to be like, well, Lord, I, I, I'm going to use that too. Because I know what I called you. Amen. So we have to be understanding. That's the same thing with the prophetic word. They call it past, present, and future. But you know what? Somebody could give you a prophetic word right now. And you ain't got to believe that word. That don't mean that word was not truthful from God. Sometimes we delay the word. For our disobedience, amen, thank you, prophet. For our disobedience, we delay the word. For our disobedience, the prophet could tell you, look here, I want you to go to the store and I want you to buy 10 apples. <laughs> and I want to take all 10 of them apples to the corner. And I want you to give out all of them except one, amen. Because later on, you're going to give one to somebody else. And then you get home and guess what? You got, you got something in the mail to cover them 10 apples and then some. You understand? Because you followed the directions of the prophet and God allowed you to be blessed because of it. The Bible talks about giving a prophet, uh, having a prophet's reward. Amen. Now I'm not saying every prophet is is on it, and I'm not saying I'm not doing that. What I'm saying is, is this: when you know you need something from God, and God sends a man or woman of God to you to be able to tell you and encourage you. Amen. You better take that word. Amen. I, I wouldn't bury it. I, I wouldn't praise the Lord. I wouldn't. I'm telling you now. I'm, I, honey, look here. I'll write it down on a piece of paper, put it in my wallet if I have to. Amen? Because you want to know why? That word going to come to pass. And when that word come to pass, I want you to go back and read that word again. And be like, oh, oh, so and so and so. Amen? You may not remember the prophet, but you remember what they said to you. Amen? Amen? So deliver the word of God. When God speaks to you and tells you to deliver something to somebody, you tell them, and what the, what, the, what, the, what, the, what the people say, drop the mic, and I'm out. Amen. Because you want to know why? It ain't nothing that you, I, I'm the prophet. If I give you a word God gave me, I'm not going to tell over no word for you. Huh. Amen. Because that's too much like I'm watching over the word. Why, why would I watch over? Huh? Amen. She said, put in your spiritual pocketbook. Because I'm telling you. We are missing things God is saying to us. Vital things. These, these things are vital to your life. And you need these things. Amen. You know what? I learned something God told me. He said, the word that comes forth may not be for you right now. But you keep on walking. It's going to come and hit you one day. And that's what happened to me. The word wasn't for me. I thought, oh, no, it ain't for me. Uh-uh. Huh? And that word hit me. I was like, oh, 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 God, oh. Oh, and then the Lord had to take me back on that journey. He said, remember when the prophet came and told you? And you were like, mm, you got your face all like, mm-mm. That word was for me. Amen. So I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I'm honored. Amen. For every word that's ever been spoken over my life. Because it's time to get up and go. It's time to get up and move. Amen. And let me say this to y'all too. 
Don't wait on nobody to come tell you. <laughs> Don't wait on nobody. Please, look here. Oh, God. Don't wait on nobody to have to come tell you what God is telling you to do. God has already spoke to you. God has already... You don't need no more... Uh, okay, let me help you. You don't need no more confirmations. Confirmations, affirmations, whatever you what you want, no more assurance. You, you don't need no more of those things. God has already spoken to you. So we need to get up and do. Now, if that person can help you in any way, we ask God to deliver and to um, allow those people to come into your life that can help you through the journey. Amen. And, and that's all we need. We need a little help. Let nobody tell you take over. Because see, some people got takeover spirits. We ain't, we want no, 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 no. We don't want no takeover. We, you know, we might a little, little help. A little, little help. You know, I need a little, little help. Can you help me? Just a little bit. I, you know, I need, I might not, can't write that manuscript. Can you write this for me? I, I might, I might can't type. Can you type this for me? You know, but I just need a little help. I ain't asking you to come and say, well, this is how I would do it. I, see? Wait a minute. Now, you can offer suggestions. We love your suggestions. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> and I would take your suggestion and put them in a suggestion box over here. You see? Because, see, ultimately, when you step out to do what God wants you to do, guess what? It's on you. <laughs> it ain't on them. So if you step out there and you're missing some pieces, you need to go and talk to yourself about that because you allow somebody to get you off track. So I, I, what I'm saying is you got to remain focused. This is that tunnel vision. Hey, I see. I know that's going on over here. They over here acting a fool and they over here talking crazy. But God, I got tunnel vision because all I see right now is Jesus Christ. All I see right now is you, God, and my destiny that's before me. And I got to get there. I, I got to. I can't keep delaying my destiny because I want to keep getting over here and this and doing over here and that. And, 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 and allow myself to get distracted in my own mind. Amen. What does the Bible say? The idle mind is a devil's workshop. I don't even know that's in the Bible, but we're going to go with that. Amen. So I have to remain focused on what God is telling me to do. And that's all that matters. So I apologize. I love everybody. But I have to remain focused because I can't afford. I'm 53. I'm not going to be 73 starting this thing. Mm-mm. Uh, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now we're going to get this now. We we going now. We going on this thing, this journey now. Because uh yeah, we've already I already missed some years. Uh, when I go back and I'm thinking, well, oh God, I miss uh he, yeah, you missed all them years, but that's okay, baby. We've already redeemed that. So now we come on up here to the catcher. Every last woman on here, every person I see that I'm looking at on this here computer, all the names scrolling up and everything, all of y'all, every last Every last one, so let me, let me, let me go back. Okay, every last one of y'all, every last one of y'all got a call on your life. God, yes, Jesus. Every last, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Every last one of y'all, every last, yeah, all y'all, all, all 12, 13, 11, y'all, all y'all got a call on your life. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Let me help you. Let me go ahead and bless you. So we, we can go ahead and despair that. Well, well, God, did you call me? Yeah, he called you. <laughs> Woo, he called you. Yes, he did. Yes, God called you. Yep, yep, mm-hmm, yep, yep, you. Oh, yeah, you too. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and you. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh-huh, amen. Yeah, praise the Lord, amen. Now, now I'm going to say this. I got, a couple, I got a few prophets on here. And you know what? I ain't going to even, I'm not limited to the prophets, amen. I, I'm, I'm going to bless everybody. I got prophets and I got evangelists. I got intercessors, amen. And so you see the people in the comment section. And this is what I want. If you have a word to release to any one of these ladies on here, amen, to encourage them, amen, I'm asking you to inbox them. You can pull them off of my page. I'm sure they won't mind you saying, hey, I was just on the live with you. And I said, you know, hey, I want to encourage you. Because let me tell you something. We do much, but as women, amen, 
It's funny, as women, we suffer some of the same things. Mm -hmm. uh, Prophet uh, Latwana, uh, when I told my story the other day, a little bit of my story, amen, she said, I relate to you because I understand you now. Uh, because I'm similar to, we have the same similar story. And so it kind of like, oh, okay, I see now why, God. So sometimes as women, we go through the same similar stuff. Amen. And we have to encourage each other. I want every last one, iron sharpened iron, amen, advantage. I want every last one of my sisters to make it. Do you understand me? Every, uh, child, honey, you... <coughs> Preach, honey. Preach. Speak. Prophesy. Pray. Come on. Do whatever God's telling you to do. Sing. Oh, my God. Look, honey, if you can sing, baby, you my, you my best friend because, woo, Jesus, I love a person that can sing because my voice be like, ooh, okay, praise him. Maybe God didn't give you that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But all I'm saying is this, like the young lady just said, amen. We need each other, amen. We we need each other, amen. We we really, truly, we honestly, we need each other in this moment and at this time. And so we have to um, be about our brothers and our sisters' business and our father's business. And I'm not saying try to get in nobody's business, amen. But we do have to be our brothers and our sister keeper, as someone has just said, amen. And so we have to understand that, we have to be there for each other. Now, I ain't trying to have no click and no kumbayas, but I'm saying it won't hurt you. What would it take from you to be able to encourage somebody else that you don't know? Amen. And so God will begin to use you and speak through you so that you can help that sister in that place. And let me tell you something about words. Let me tell you something. When you type stuff up, you know what happens? When that person get in that moment and they stuck, then go back and read them very words you typed up on that computer. Amen? So that's what I'm saying. This is what we're doing. We're trying to not, not just put ourselves out there just ourselves, but we're also trying along the way to encourage someone else along the way. Amen? Someone we don't even know. Amen? There go a word she says, ah, she cut up out. He, he, oh, God, oh, my Jesus, prophet, come on now. Come on, prophet. What you say, prophet? Girl, you better see that word, girl. Yeah, honey, I'm shucking back and for you, girl. You, <laughs> woo, glory, hallelujah. Yes, yes. You hear me? Huh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Y'all just don't know. <laughs> woo, honey, that was the prophet. That's the only time word for my sister right now. <laughs> woo, thank you. Woo, God, my, my, my. Hey, I'm happy for you, girl. <laughs> woo, yeah, yeah. I hope you get to see, girl. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo, God. Come on, Evangelist Waller. I know you're on here. Come on here. Come on, Evangelist Waller. Come on. I know you're on here. Amen. But we have to be. We have to be. We have to encourage each other. We have to. Why? Because let me tell you something. What is it? What is it you when you're walking and doing and being all that God is telling you to be and your sister's sitting over here dying? What? Huh? Oh, oh, she, she dead? And not in the physical sense, but in the spirit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, uh, Evangelist Wall, your next show, you want to do a relationship? Talk to them first, them first ladies of the church. Amen. Why? They, 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 who oh God? Mm, 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 mm. They're so lonely. They, they're lonely. Oh, my God. And so we have to be understanding of the fact of that we have to be concerned about our sisters. Amen. I don't care what color your skin is. I don't care how tall you is, how cute you is, how, 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 how dark you is. It doesn't matter. Why? You, you're still my sister. And you have the same problems as a female that I have or have had. Amen. And so I can relate to you. Better than I can to a male. Amen. Come on now. Oh, the prophet, the girl, the prophet. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hey. Woo, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm telling you. Do you understand? Do you not get it? What we have to do in this season and time? 
Don't let your sister leave here like this. Don't let your sister. We are our sister's keeper. Amen. And we have to understand that, that we are our sister's keeper. And we have to know that God placed us here so that we could be able to speak life into each other. Amen. We can't just be worried about these men, folks. But we got to be worried about our sisters. Amen. Come on now. Come, I mean, look at him. What was that? What was that? That show, girlfriends. They have many shows that women have had. Amen. And we have to be concerned about each other. Amen. Not to get in your business, not tell you how to run your business, but you know that there's someone God has placed in your life and in some interval in your life. As as I love what the prophet uh, um, from another life was talking about, having a Holy Ghost prophetic pusher. You better, baby. <laughs> hey. Woo, honey, let me tell you, for some of us that have lost our mothers and our grandmothers and, and don't have nobody, I'm telling you, you need to have somebody, somebody mm, that's praying for you. Amen. Somebody, somewhere, pray for me. Amen. Because even though I'm living off my grandmother's and my mother's prayers now, baby, I've been here 53 years. Amen. And somebody pray for me. You understand me? Even now, today, somebody prayed for me. As I saw say, they had me on their mind. They took the time and prayed for me. You know what? I'm so glad they prayed. <laughs> because guess what? I'm sitting where I'm sitting at now. Amen? And no, the journey for me is not done. I ain't completed no journey. I'm running this race. Amen? But I want to run this race, but I don't want to be the only one in it. Amen? I don't want to be running. Woo. Oh, there go Prophet Latoya. They don't be running the race and amen. And I'm looking around. And I'm like, well, where are my sisters at? Ain't nobody else running? Well, something wrong with that picture. There's something wrong with that picture. We, I want y'all to run. Just like I'm running. Amen. Amen. See that? Look at these prophets. They just popping out. They just they just popping up, popping out. They popping out. Amen. And that is what God wants us to do: be our sister's keeper. Amen. Be there for each other, and understand. I may not have your race, <laughs> but I'm running a race. <laughs> oh God! And sometimes I just need a little encouragement. I just need someone to say, "Girl, you know what? I understand." I understand. You can make it though. Even through your tears. Even broken. You still can make it. Get up. You got to get up. But let me tell you. I, I got to tell y'all a story. I was at work one day. And I was coming down the steps outside. We got outside steps. I was rushing down them steps. And I could see the ants. You know how the ants line up and they walk. And they walk across the steps in the line. Oh, my God. And my foot slipped and I stepped on the end. Ah! Oh, by the weight and everything. But let me tell y'all what happened. That little ant, I ain't crush him now, but I did hurt him because he was stunned. He was laying there looking like, like he broke up. But I saw something that I never seen in my life. Them ants was walking and two of them got out of line. My God. They picked that little ant up. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, I, I'm standing there watching them because I felt so bad. They picked the little, the two little ants picked the little other little ant up and they carried him. They got back in line. Do you understand what I'm saying? They got back in line and was carrying that little ant. Now I'm sitting here and I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm watching ants. But let me tell you what happened. They carried that ant so far. Oh my God. That little ant got better. I don't know how. I don't know what they did. I don't know what they did. I'm telling y'all what I say. They put that ant back down. That joker thought about walking. <laughs> but they carried him. They could have left him for dead, but they didn't leave him. They picked him up and said, boy, I got you. We got you. It took two of them to pick up that one little ant. But they carried him. And I'm saying him. I don't know. But they carried that ant until he got better. They gave him their strength. Oh, my God. Mm. They gave him their strength. You understand me? They had to do that. They could have kept on going in line. Look, we going on to heaven. Woo! We going on to heaven. We, oh, bro, I'm sorry. You just won't make it today. They didn't do that. They stopped. They got out of line. They didn't mess up the line. 
But they got out of line, they grabbed that ant and carried that ant. Now I'm standing there the whole time looking at this like, girl, you just stood here and learned you a lesson today about ants. Ants! Amen! Now here we go. We see, we see our brother and sister over there bleeding out. <laughs> we like, child, you'll be out. Somebody gonna help you one day. Mm-mm. That is not what God wants. Mm. <sighs> My God. Mm, Jesus. Oh, the prophet is talking. The prophet is talking tonight. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. LeVar, boy, I know you're on here. I just see, I just think your name pop up. She, oh, God. Oh, prophet is over here pouring out. She's pouring. Y'all better be looking at these messages. Amen. And so, brother warden, I, I'm telling I don't know, but excuse me, Lord, forgive me. You might be pastor, amen. But I'm telling the, the, the women and, and anybody that's on here that's listening to me that we have to encourage each other on this journey that we're on right now, amen. And so allow yourself to be an encourager, amen, a, a pusher for somebody else, even though things may not be so great in your life, we're asking God to bless us so that we are able to see that our sisters and our brothers need us, amen, and that we're able to push each other into that place. You write about that, evangelist. People see you laying there, they'll walk right by you. I, I've seen that. I've seen that in church, amen. I've seen that. I've seen it in church many times. Someone come. And they say in that song, don't leave out the same way you came. But I've seen many people do it. They come in church. And you know what? It was funny because it was one day it was me. And I thought to myself, don't nobody see me? <laughs> hey, don't nobody see God? They don't see me? They don't see me? Do you understand? I'm sitting up here bleeding on the inside. And God, all these eyes up in here. Prophetic eyes. I ain't going to call no names or anything. I'm just saying Eyes that can see. Amen. God give people eyes that can see you on the inside. And they just, oh, well, hey, girl, how you doing? How you doing? Everything all right? And you be like, yes, everything's fine. But you know what? <laughs> I know one lady over here that she so, I, I call her, I call her Holy Ghost Nosy. Amen. But I ain't going to call her name. But I tell her later. Amen. Because she good for a sis. You all right? <laughs> you be like, yeah, uh-uh, you ain't all right. And we be like, dog, how you know? You don't know me like that. But what I'm saying is we have to be mindful of our surroundings when we get around people. Amen. Because some people like to hide and cover up their pain. Amen. And so we have to be mindful of who we are around and be able to say, look here, I see that. Amen. And sometimes even if you don't say nothing to them, go on and pray, honey. Go pray, go pray, go pray. Look here, God, whatever this thing is, you got to slap them in the back one good time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Girl, I'm just trying to see if you still lie, girl. That's all. I ain't, ain't want nothing. Amen. Just slap them in the back one good time. Put that Holy Ghost on and be like, sing them, God. Get them. Get them. Wake them up. Heal them. Help them. Huh? Because you know when that lady leave that church, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> she got to go home and face either him or them. Would you, would you ever want him or them? Huh? When I say him or them, I mean them children and I mean their husband. Amen. So we got to be mindful. Amen. We got to be mindful. I ain't saying get in nobody relationship, but encourage her. Girl. Girl, you see, girl, you came to church, your hair was all jacked up, baby. Come on, let's go in the bathroom. Let me comb your hair. Let me straighten your hair. Straighten your wig out a little bit. I ain't going to let you walk out here like this, see. I, I can't do that. Uh-uh. Girl, your clothes looking kind of raggedy, amen. Look here. I ain't got many clothes. But baby, come come on over to the house with me, baby. We can find something for you to wear, amen. And we got to stitch it up here, pin it up there. But, huh? We can do these things. Why? Because I am my sister's keeper. Amen. Take a shop and buy a cup of shirt. You can go to Ross and get some shirt for five dollars. Well, some of them cheaper than that. But I'm just saying, we have to be mindful. 
do something for her. Do something for her. You're not my competition. I'm not your competition. I'm just trying to make it where God want me to go. Simple. That's just that 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 that's all simple. I'm just trying to make it where God want me to go. And guess what? I want you to make it too. So it ain't even like that. Amen. But I'm not going to sit by and idly watch you dying and not say nothing or do nothing. That's not what we're here for. That's not what God called us for. That is not what we're supposed to be doing. Amen. We're supposed to be help us one to another. Amen. Especially when you know that woman got them cheering. I'm going to say it like them cheering. And, and they bleed. Baby, go uh, look here. Can, you, can I babysit little Johnny? Jesus, little Johnny might get on my nerves all night. But uh, I'm going to give you a night. <laughs> bring, bring little Johnny over to my house. Oh, God. Ooh. But look here. It ain't going to be every weekend. But I will keep little Johnny because I understand. I understand what it feel like. Amen. I, I remember one of my friends, he was telling me about, um, what did he say? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm about them single mothers, they boys. We help the boys. And I asked him one day, I said, since you got all these boys and y'all minister to the boys of these single mothers, have you ever considered the mother? <laughs> have you ever considered the mother? You know, he was like, what do you mean? I said, you come pick up her son. That woman ain't probably ain't got a brand new pair of shoes. If you have to be ministering to her son and taking him shopping and buying stuff for him. You want to help that mama? Go buy a pair of shoes. Give her $50 to go buy a pair of shoes. Go pay a light bill. Come on. Take the weight off. You know what I'm saying? Take, take, take. Go the extra mile. Help the woman a little bit. Go buy a bag of groceries. Amen. I, you know, because I'm saying I understand. We do what we can. Amen. Your lineage is great. Come on. We do what we can. But even in the doing what we can for each other, make an impact in that person's life. Amen? You might can't go out to Macy's and shop for that person, but take them to Ross and buy them a 599 shirt. Come on. You know? Go buy them some paparazzi jewelry or whatever. Amen? Give something to make them feel better about their situation. That's all I'm saying. I ain't, I'm just saying, uh, uh, young folks, I'm just saying what I'm saying. We have to be mindful of who we are around and just be able to be there for each other. That's all I'm saying. And you know what? That girl might get on your nerve, but you know what? At the end of the day, she's still your sister. And she's still, oh, God, oh, God. Come on, prophet, girl. <laughs> girl, you done got my sister now. Oh, sis, you see that? You see that? You see that? Woo! <laughs> yes, Lord. Woo! <laughs> I see that word. Woo, I'm going to call you, sis. I'm going to call you. Because what? Girl, I'm celebrating. Ha! Ah. Woo! I can't, I can't, even, I can't even look, look, y'all. I can't even stop this lie because I want the prophet to just keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. <laughs> Amen. Because I'm telling you, you know what? You the Holy Ghost pusher. That you, the, you the prophetic pusher. There you go. That's the prophetic pusher in you, girl. You pushing folks tonight. You hear me? Ah, oh, God, we thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. She, she pushing. I'm telling you, anybody else got a word of kindness, a word of encouragement for somebody else? Amen. You are by all means. Praise the Lord. Please release the word because I'm telling you, God ain't just speaking to one prophet. He, he not. He's speaking to the prophets. He's speaking to the evangelist. He's speaking to the teacher. He's speaking to whoever got a prophetic gift. Amen. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm, t I'm telling you. He, he's speaking, he's speaking. Use the prophetic gift in you and release in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. Ain't no need you going to bed with them prophetic words in you. <laughs> Go ahead and harvest, harvest, har uh, till the ground. Go on and till the ground. Because we got to get up. We, we got to get up. We got to get the moving. God is saying this way. Let's go. We about our father's business. Come on. We about our father's business. Come on. We 
We got too much to do. We got too much ground to cover in the name of Jesus. Come on now. Yes, the prophetic is in the room. Come on, prophetic. Come on. Drop them prophetic words. I'm telling you, it is in here. Uh, Eileen, I seen you, prophet. You think, I, I seen you. I, I seen you on here. I know you on here because I seen you pop up around here somewhere. Amen. Go ahead and release in the name of Jesus. Latwana, hallelujah. Prophet Latwana, go ahead and release. In the name of Jesus. Ah, thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. So I guess I'm pulling on the prophets tonight. Amen. Because let me tell you something. It, 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 you know, I, I wouldn't want nobody to be on here. They're seeking something from God and be missed at the same time. Mm-mm. 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 Amen. Mm-mm. You're seeking something from God in the name of Jesus. You're seeking something from God, and God don't miss. You understand? God don't play games either, you know, because I've been told, well, I'm not the prophet for you. What, 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 what does that mean? Ain't you a prophet of God? <laughs> I mean, what does that mean? You're not the prophet for me. I ain't asking you to be the prophet for me. I want you to be the prophet for God. And so if you have a word to release, amen, release the word. Praise the Lord. Release it. Because Why? I, our lives are dependent on that. Amen? I, the confirmation. And then the confirmation comes and brings forth peace in the name of Jesus. Peace. Give me peace. Come on. Come, give, me, give me some peace. Oh, God, the pastor that showed up. Oh, Lord. The, <laughs> oh, God, the pastor that came over here tonight, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord, Pastor Brent. <laughs> Amen. So we have to release the word. Come on. Don't sit here holding on to no. What? 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 I, look, anybody got anything they want to tell me? Release it. Amen. Don't sit here holding that word. Amen. Hey, oh, God. She said, get up. Get up. You got to get. Come on. We got to get up. It's too much work, too much ground to cover in the name of Jesus. I, I love it because even when I think about the 12 disciples, when Jesus had the 12 disciples, he taught them and he sent them out. He said, go, 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 go. They wasn't with Jesus that whole time. They were somewhere over here, somewhere over there, doing what he said to do, what they were trained to do. Amen. They want to see him talking about, well, Jesus, wherever you go, I'm going to follow you. Uh, I'm going to stay with you. I ain't going. They had to grow up. They had to go and do what they had to do. Amen. Even, even, who was it? The fisherman of men? He didn't take that from them. I love saying that because he didn't take that from them. He made them fishermen, the fishermen. He made them fishermen of men. He didn't take that from them. <laughs> he didn't take that from them, what they were. He just took it and made it better. So why do we do that? If you can sing, baby, sing to the glory of God. If you can preach, preach. If you can prophesy, prophesy. But you can't. You're not me. I wouldn't dare. Oh, she don't sound right. She don't sound like, Because you're not me. Oh, my God. She done throw the word on me. Do you understand? You're not me. I wouldn't want you to be like me. God looked in the mirror. He said, you. He didn't say me. He said, you. You, you, you. He called you. He didn't call me for you. He didn't call me. He didn't say, look here, but I want you to act just like Shauna. He didn't say that. He said, be who you are in me. Carry the spirit of God on the inside of you to the world. He said, go ye therefore and preach the gospel. Go. Go. Got to keep sitting up here. We sitting down. What, what we waiting on? Let me tell you something. They closed the church. Fine. Preach on Facebook, preach on Instagram, preach on the street corner, preach in the grocery store, preach on the side of the road. It doesn't matter. God said, do what I've called you to do. Period. Ain't nothing stopping you but yourself. Nothing holding you back but yourself. And we got to stop hindering ourselves. You are your own hindrance. Nobody else is hindering you. And I speak that off of you. In the name of you, every word, every foul word that's ever been spoken over your life, anything you've heard, anything you've thought, every negative connotation you've heard and thought in your mind, I speak it off of you. Release some God to do what you called them to do. 
And they will run the race with patience. And they will do what you said, God. See, God don't make no mistakes. I'm telling you, God don't make mistakes. God don't make mistakes in the name of Jesus. And we pray for Marcus right now, God. We pray for him, God. The good son that he is, God. This, this COVID, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. He, God. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Lenore, you on here? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Zandra, you on here? You see that comment about the COVID child? The child, the young man has got COVID? The devil is a liar. These are intercessors that I'm calling upon right now. Not just myself. Marie, you on here? Come on. Latwana, you on here? We got to pray. The devil is a liar, spitting up blood. What is that? No. No. We refuse to risk. No. No. No, devil. We ain't taking no COVID symptoms. You a liar. Hey, God. You a liar. The devil is a liar. And I speak life. I speak restoration. And whatever this blood issue is with you. That God will restore your body back to good health. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'll call you later, sis, because I want to ask you something pertaining to your son. But I know God is able. I know that God is able. And I don't care what the enemy is trying to, the symptoms he's trying to put out on Marcus. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He's a liar in the name of Jesus. So you all pray for this young man. We're going to be praying and bombarding heaven and trusting God. And not just for him, but the family in that house. The prophet Elaine. Eileen, excuse me, Jesus Lord. Um, okay. Eileen and her baby daughter. Amen. That they covered under the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She done prayed. She done prophesied to the pastor. That's what I'm talking about. See what I'm saying? God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. That's my brother right there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Knew him when he was young. Young, 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 young. Amen. And God raised him up to be a pastor. I'm so, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is doing a great and mighty thing right now. And we have to prepare ourselves because the enemy, he don't care. He don't care. He's walking, seeking whom he shall devour every time he gets an opportunity. If it ain't him, it's his imps. Amen. If it ain't him, it's his imps. And he's sick, and God says it's time for us to bombard heaven in the name of Jesus. Why? Because we can't allow him to do this. Mm -mm. He has no power. He has no place. He has no authority. He is intruding. He is trespassing on a child of God in the name of Jesus. And it ain't going to be so. And it's not so. Amen. I see the prophet just prayed for Marcus. Amen. For this COVID-19 symptoms that he's having. Amen. Yes, he is exalted. And we thank him and we praise his holy name. He is worthy of all the glory, all the honor, all the praise in the name of Jesus. If I have to do it by myself, I'll praise God. I'll praise him because he's already done what he said he was going to do. He said his word will never return to him void. And I seek him and I praise him for who he is. Amen. Because he is God. And beside thee, there is no other God. I don't care what it looked like, what it's not. If he called me, he called you too. Amen. And so it's time for us to get up. Amen. And I don't even know how long I've been on here, but I know I've been on here a good minute. Because I, we have to. We have to push people. We have to push each other. We have to lift each other up in prayer. Because why? Who else we going to, who, 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 what are we going to do, turn to the world? Mm. Same dying world. I mean, you know, what they got to offer to Mo, death? What they got to offer? But Jesus Christ came to give us hope, a hope to a hopeless nation. Mm. My God, Lord have mercy. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for the word and just being an encouragement to each other. Amen. And like I said before, if God called me, he called you too. And I'm here 
to encourage you. I'm here to let you know that we can make it. Together we stand, but divided. And then what the Bible say? The, 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 the enemy has to bind up the strong man. He has to bind up the house, he has to bind the strong man. And we're together, we're stronger together. Because I am my sisters and my brother's keeper. I refuse to let one go. I refuse to let one go. I refuse to let one go. Not on my watch. <laughs> hey! Oh, God. Not, not, not on my watch. <laughs> Amen. Not, not on my watch. Oh, Prophet Latwana, there you go with your uh, watchman on the wall. Amen. Prophet Latwana. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. There we go. Some more words of encouragement. Prophet Latwana, God said it's finished. Amen. The sister sent you a word of encouragement. I'm telling you, we have to be. We have to be able to encourage each other. Amen. Because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow's not even promised to us. But you know what? Today, do what God say to do today. Amen. Hallelujah. I know, I know, um, intercessor heal. It's fine. I just wanted to make sure you saw that message about the young man with the COVID. Amen. I know you, you were on here, but that's fine. You, I know you got it. Amen. Amen. There are quite a few intercessors on here tonight. Amen. And I'm thankful unto God. Why? Because God can do it. God can do it. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, prophet Marie. Amen. God can do it. God can do it. I'm telling you, God can do it. Everything but fail, God can do it. Amen. God can do it. A hey, ooh, Jesus. God can do it. And it's already done. It's already done. I see you, my sister Baker. Amen. Evangelist Baker, praise the Lord. We're just on here talking a little bit about what God has done in my life. Amen. With this ministry uh, that he's given me. And, um... There will be many more conversations that we'll have, amen, that'll be about trying to encourage each other and just lifting each other up before the Lord because it, it's time out. There's no play in this anymore, amen. It's about being about God's business. It's about being about God's business. Welcome, Sister Renee. I saw you earlier, and please forgive me for not speaking, but it's about being about God's business. That's a powerful intercessor, too. Amen. But it's about being about God's business. It's, it, who, Lord have mercy, God. Mm. It's about being about God's business. And I know people be like, well, this girl, all she talk about is God. All she talk about is Jesus Christ. All she talk about being saved. That's all I know. That's all I want to know. Amen. Oh, my head, God. Jesus. Ooh, girl. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hey, God, I have to go back and read it again. Oh, God, Jesus, my God. But it, 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 oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Woo, God. Mm, mm, I ain't going to show up because I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you. Woo, -hoo -hoo. Woo my, 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 my. Thank you. Oh, God. Mm, mm, mm. You know how you see something? <laughs> God, thank you, Jesus, for Prophet Marie. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Woo, honey. Hey, God. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. I ain't told nobody that. See the hat right now? Mm. When the Lord showed me that, I was like, who you talking about? <laughs> mm. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm telling you, mm, there's so much more. Mm. Whew. That we ain't seen yet. Come on. There's so much more. That we haven't seen. There are parts of God that we have not even tapped into. Do you, do you get it? There's, part, that, there's, there's a place, a realm in God that we have not even tapped. I mean, I always think about the water when you tap the water. You know, when you, when you, <laughs> there's people build houses and stuff. Well, back in the cowboy day, they just tap the water. 
They said they take the nail and tap the um the ground and that water sprouts up. There's so much that we have not seen. Oh God. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. My God, thank you, Lord, for the prophet releasing the word tonight. Amen. Every person, uh, thank you, Jesus. Who God. Mm, 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 mm. Lord, my lightning went off. Amen. Sorry about that, y'all. I got my lights in. I'm tired. <laughs> Amen. I'm tired now. I'm tired. You just, you just, you just sat here and talked so long. I'm, not, I'm just going to go off. Let me see if I can get it back on. J J Josh, come help me, babe. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Amen. I think I did anyway. Okay, there you go. Amen. So, yes, we have to. Amen. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She's still praying for uh, the young man, uh, Brother Marcus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. We have to be. We have to. We have to. We have to do the things that God is telling us to do in this season. Oh, God. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, <laughs> I can't even, I can't even articulate my words right now, God, my God. Oh, God. Prophetic pusher, Marie, amen. Thank you for being who you are, amen. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for being who you are in this time. When we need to hear a word from God, amen. I'm, I'm grateful unto you, amen. And I pray that all the words that you gave out tonight concerning every, just about everybody on here, amen, that God will begin to replenish and restore you. God will make <laughs> rivers of wonderful things coming into your life. Rivers, I see these rivers, like, you know, you, you standing, and I know you just went on vacation. It's almost like you're standing at the brook, and you can see all these things passing by you in this river. And God said, just put your hand in. And every time you put your hand in this river, you, you bring out something more. And you put your hand in the river, and you bring out something more. Amen. And so I pray that all that you poured out unto us tonight, that God will begin to restore it back unto you. Mm -mm -mm. So many wonderful things are going to happen in your life. Amen. And I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God Whew. for every last one of you guys, men, ma male, female alike, because without you, we just be people, ordinary people doing the same thing we were always doing. But God places in each other's lives. Not just because, not just because, but because we needed each other. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There go the prophet Latwana praying. Ah, thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, everything, God. There'll be a restoration tonight, God. They won't, they won't soon not have the things that they need to have. Bills being paid. Surprise, zero balances coming in the mail, God. Surprise your people, oh God. Bless them in a real way, God, that only you can, God. Bless your children, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. And those, God, that are starting out doing ministry, however, even the ones that's already in ministry, God, I pray right now, Father, that you will bless them in a way that only you can, God. Make every crooked way straight, meaning that if they have to deal with other people, God, let them be straightforward with them, oh God. And God, even if they quote a price, let it come in under the price that they quote to them, God. Whatever it is that they need right now, Father God, stand in the need of, oh God. If it's a building for ministry, God. If it's a place of venue for ministry, God. I ask you, Lord God, to open up the place right now, God. If it's sound systems, whatever it is that they need, drums, oh God. I ask you, Lord God, to open it up for them, oh God. If it's a musician, God. Lord, send a humble man, a woman. Oh God, upon them, Lord, so that they won't ask for much. But God, even they have to give them an offering. But God, I pray right now, Father God, that that person will come and have an ear that can hear, hear you and play by ear, God. I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, and that they would be saved. Ah, who got saved? <clears throat> saved in the name of Jesus, God. 
that you will continue, God, to do what only you have called them to do in them, God, through them. I see God push in the name of Jesus. Push, push it out of them, God. Push it out of them, God. Push it out of them, God. In the name of Jesus, whatever they've been called to do, God, push it out of them, God. Oh, God. And I would never say let them be an unrest because, honey, you need your rest. I, we, we're not unsettling in the name of Jesus, God. I ask you right now, Father God, to bless them, God, like never before. In the name of Jesus, God. Save, sanctify, and fill them all over again, God. Renew, oh God, the vow that they had to you, oh God. Renew their love. Renew their strength, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. Right now. And Father, if they are starting church, if they are starting a ministry, God, I ask you to send the people that has a hunger and a thirst for you, God. <laughs> Mm. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. A hunger and a thirst for you, God. And they will humble themselves before your hands, oh God. Mm. Who, God, humble themselves before you, God. And God, for the gifting that we have tonight, God. <laughs> for every person in the sound of my voice, God, I ask you to stir that gift. Stir that gift up, God. Stir it up in them, oh God. Stir it up in them, oh God. And they're called to pray, 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 pray. Even the more, take the prayer to another level. They call to prophesy, take them up another level, God. If they call to preach, take them up another level, God. They call, oh God, to sing, take them up another level, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Who, <laughs> God? For every preacher on here. <laughs> Oh, God, <laughs> for every preacher on this here live tonight. <laughs> yeah, when you get up to preach the next time, <laughs> the fire of God is going to flow through you like, oh, God. Oh, my, my, my. You're going to feel the heat. You're going to be like, wait a minute. For every preacher on this live, every preacher on this live, you're going to be on fire for God. He said, I want the fire. I need the fire. Because I put it in you and I want it out of you in the name of Jesus. So when you get up to preach this next time, I ain't talking about the next time at the time at the time. I'm talking about this next time you get up to preach. It's going to be fire going to fall upon the people of God like never before. Because it's gonna you're going to bring the fire. you going to bring the fire. Not nobody. you going to bring the fire. So you hear me? you going to bring the fire in the name of Jesus. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. My God. So if they not ready to hit, <laughs> they better not call you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> if they ain't ready to hit, they better not call you. Because <laughs> you're coming with the fire. You ain't, come, you ain't coming to play. <laughs> you coming to burn some things up and take some things away in the name of Jesus. So next time you stand up, to the podium or book board or wherever it is you're going to be preaching. It's going to be some fire. You're going to be like, what, what, what? Uh-uh. Because I can tell you right now, I'm about to burn up. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, God, help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. You hear me? Who, God? Who? Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. You got to release it. I see it's a consuming fire, but this fire is going to be sold. You're going to be like, I got, I, it got to come out of me. I, if I don't release it, who oh God, mm. You got to release this. You, it, it has to come forth out of you. It has, to, it has to come out. Because if you don't release it, who knows when the next time is going to come. That God's going to be like, look, I'm putting the fire on you. Oh, God, Jesus, oh, God. Mm. When he brings the fire, he's going to bring a revelation with it. Unusual revelation. That's what I hear God say. So 
sometimes we can read the word of God and we'll get an understanding. But God said there's a revelation that you haven't tapped into, preacher. And I want to put you in that place. That place. So you can tap into it. And bring forth that in the fire. I keep with my hand gestures because that's all I. I see prayer requests going through this stream. I just seen a couple. I'm sorry. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm, mm, mm. In the Bible, it talks about fire. Some people, some people talk about strange fire. I'm not talking about that. That I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm talking about the fire of the Holy Ghost. That when this fire comes, that it will burn off those things that sin. You will be able to see things in the word of God, revelatory things that you've never seen before when you read the word. Amen. It's almost like God going to be standing right there beside you talking to you as you're reading the word of God. And it's going to confirm some things that you've already heard before from God. This is not from man. This is coming straight from the throne. This is coming straight from God himself. And he's going to release that to you. Because you've been hungry, you've been thirsty, and he said he's going to feel that in you. All of that that you've been asking God for, he is going to feel it because he knows, amen. He knows. He knows what he's placed on the inside of you already, and he wants it to come forth. It, it has to come forth. 2021 has been an unusual year thus far four months into the year and it's been so unusual for some people you've seen things you've heard things things have changed in your life like never before and god said this is just the beginning of the change amen and ain't nobody gonna be able to take that from you because when god give you something he don't take it away the only time God will take it away from you is when he's replacing it with something better. That's the only time. Or he's adding to that that you already have. Amen. So that is what he's saying. That's what I hear. And that's what I know. And you ain't got to come back and tell me. Because I believe the word of the Lord when he speaks for me. Amen. When he speaks through me. Amen. And he speaks for me. Amen. I thank him every step of the way. Amen. So I need you guys to look at this chain, this, this whole thread. <clears throat> Y'all know I'm old. This whole thread, praise the Lord, I said chain, praise the Lord. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, look at this whole thread. There are people on here that have prayer requests. And I ask you, please, please, please pray. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. <sighs> I can't even see all of that. Amen. So we got to pray, pray, pray for each other. Amen. And yes, God is shifting your life. Oh, man. <laughs> hey. Woo, God. My, my. Yes, he is. Amen. And let me say this, too. If you find yourself in a place that you need some encouragement, reach out to each other. Praise the Lord. Come on. I mean, this is this is Facebook. You know, shoot a message to that person. Hey, you know, I'm just feeling some type of way today. Shoot a message to me. Amen. I might get on your nerve, but I'm going to be like, look, girl, we can do this, girl. We're going to do, girl, come on, honey. We can do this. We, we got this. We we got this. God got us. Amen. And we're going to make this thing happen. We're going to make this work. Amen. And so that's what, that's, that's what this is about. Being somebody else's keeper. Amen. You're not taking over their life, but you're helping them through life. Amen. You're helping them to know that you can make this thing, this journey. Amen. Hallelujah. I see another message. Uh, the prophet has dropped another message for somebody too. Penny Speed, if you're on here, praise the Lord. There's a word from, from the Lord for you. Amen. From Prophet Marie. Amen. And so, um, amen. She's releasing the word. And 
Um, Prophet Latwana, do you need prayer? Amen. I know we were talking earlier about a couple, two, three things, and I just want to make sure you're good. Amen. And I'm not saying prayer because it's bad. Amen. <laughs> but just give give strength. Amen. Give strength to continue the journey. Amen. And direction that God has you on. Amen. That God will give you the direction for the ministry projects that you have coming up. Amen. Because you have some things that you have before the Lord and he wants to uh, endow you even the more. Amen. For you to be on the journey that you're on right now. Amen. Amen. So, okay, Penny was still on here. Praise the Lord. I'm just making sure because I want everybody that, that, that were, was, was released to them Amen. To get the word that, that was released to them. Because we need each other. Amen. And like I say, if you find yourself, amen, uh, in a place, hallelujah, um, that, um, okay, um, that you find yourself, again, in a place that you just need a little bit of encouragement. All these ladies and men that were on here tonight will be more than happy, more than glad to offer a word of encouragement to you. Amen. Because we are not in this, this race by ourselves. We're in this together. And that's what God wants us to know, that we're not in this by ourselves. Amen. Every now and then, God will call you unto him by yourself. You know, and that's okay too. Amen. You have to do what the Lord says to do. But when you get in those places and it get a little tight, you know what I mean? And you just need someone that you just want to talk to. I have a no judgment zone. I don't, I don't have time to judge you. I can't judge myself, so I don't have time to judge nobody else. And so that's what I'm offering, you know, if you need someone, amen. Like I said before, uh, I do have a phone number and all that good stuff, a website, and I mean, uh, web address, excuse me, for the ministry. And so I offer that. Um, I will be getting those out uh, pretty soon, amen. Other than that, if you want to reach me, you can reach me through Facebook Messenger, amen, and I will gladly give you my phone number to call me. I don't, I don't have a problem with that either, amen, because that's not what this is about. I'm not trying to live no, ooh, I don't want to be bothered with people. Life, uh, that's not, that's not, the, that's not what God called me to, amen. And so I want my want to make myself accessible and available. Even though I do work a nine to five, praise the Lord. Let me tell y'all now, I do have a job. Uh, and I may have to wait till I get off work to call you back. Or I might have to get on a Wi-Fi or something like that. But, you know, um, if I'm working from home, you know, you can call me, you know, anytime during the day. But if I'm, you know, have to go to the building, which I've been lately going to the building. I don't like it, but, hey, man, I do what I have to do. Um... But we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, Prophet Marika, you uh, lift up a prayer for Prophet Latwana. She said, prayer. Yes, prayer is good. Amen. Um, uh, I know the other intercessors seen the messages and everything that came through um, that we um, praying for each other. But I pray for, um, again, that everything that Prophet Marie gave out to us, God, will we return back to her, oh God. I ask you to strengthen her, encourage her, even the more, God, to do what you have called her to do, God, in this season of her life and in this opportunity, oh God. And I thank you, Lord, that as she's taking on these these journeys, oh God, to be on this and to be on that, um, God, that you will strengthen her for the journey, oh God. And continue to cover her, O oh God, in your blood, in the name of Jesus. As Prophet Latwana, God, I thank you, Lord, for Prophet Latwana. I pray, thank you, Lord, for the gifts and the call that you have on her life, O oh God. I pray, God, that you continue to strengthen her in every area of her life, from her head down to the sole of her feet, O oh God. Continue to encourage her, even the more, God, to do what you have called her to do, God. We thank you right now that no weapon formed against her shall prosper, God. That you will gird her up, O oh God. Not even let her cold, not even let sinuses, not even let any time type of sickness, not even a headache, God, come her way in the name of Jesus, God. We dispel it right now, God, that you're able to heal her body. You're able to keep her in perfect peace, oh God, because her mind is on you, God. And we thank you right now, Father. I don't figure out why somebody keep trying to call me on uh, live, but anyway. Um, but um, we could be reached out, please. Please, please, amen. All right, praise the Lord. Father, we just released a prayer, too, for you. Prophet Latwana, amen. And I will give you a moment, too, if you want to respond to it, amen. Praise the Lord. But, God, we thank you and we praise you, amen, 
for every opportunity you have given us, oh God. I ask you, God, to go with the people of God as they go forth, oh God, to rest or even to work tonight, God, on whatever products that they may have. But God, I ask you right now, God, to bless them in a way that only you can, God. And until the next time, oh God, that you will keep them, oh God, and watch over them, oh God, their families, oh God, their husbands, their wives, oh God, their children, oh God, their parents, oh God their grandparents, in the name of Jesus, God. Everything that concerns them, oh God, I ask you to be in the midst, God, right now, God. We ask you, God, to give your angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways, oh God. Give your angels charge to watch over them, oh God. And God, give them unexpected dreams and visions, oh God. Give them unexpected blessings, oh God, something they did not expect, God. We ask you right now for signs, miracles, and wonders to follow them in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you and we praise you. I love you all as always, and I'll see you next time on a pop-up. God bless.